What's the deal, family man? Welcome back to the Real Shaxi channel on YouTube. It's your boy Sean, and we here with another banger for y'all, man. So look, Larry Bird. Man, we got Larry Bird greatest moments. Man, if you don't know who Larry Bird is, man, come on, bruh. The Boston Celtic extraordinaire. <laughs> the three-point wizard. You know what I mean? Number 33, the three-point specialist. OG Boston Celtic Larry Bird, man. Look, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck, bro. I ain't never watched no Larry Bird highlights. I ain't never watched no Larry Bird mixtape. No Larry Bird greatest moments, man. I ain't even watched no Larry Bird three-point contest videos. It ain't because I don't like Larry Bird. It's because I'm a Laker fan, bro. I'm a straight-up, die-hard, all day, all my life, all my relatives' lives, <laughs> elders, parents, great Lakers, bro. Lakers all day. Since, till, since yesterday, tomorrow too. Since yesterday till tomorrow. Um, I'm a Laker fan, bro. So I ain't never rock with no Boston Celtics. Ever. Ever. Kevin Garnett, I liked him on the Wolves. <laughs> Ray Allen, I liked him on, this, on the, uh, on the uh, Supersonics. The Heat. Paul Pierce from L.A., so he gets a little slide by, man. But anyways, man, we got Larry Bird greatest moments. Like I said, I ain't never watched no Larry Bird nothing. But let's be honest, bro. All the greats, all the greats say Larry Bird was up there, and even some of them put Larry Bird as like the like in the top ten all time, bro. He's one of the, like top ten all time players. He's up there, man. So we gonna check him out. Hopefully he surprises me today, man. I've heard some stories. I heard he's good. I've heard some things, but let's see if he really impressed me the way he should, man. Anyways, no hate to Larry Bird, man. I'm a LA Laker fan till I die, man. So it's just the it's just the hate against Boston. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all though. Let's get to this video, man. Let's see what he's talking about. Pull up. Hey, hey, look, 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 look. It's a, that's a bad white boy, though. You know what I mean? Larry Bird was in there playing against Hakeem Olajuwon, Magic Johnson. He's playing Michael Jordan. He's playing some beasts. Some real beasts out there, man. It's a bad white boy. Gets it in the first. They call the time out. He said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. And I'm going to time out. I'm going for a play. And I tried this one more run. All right. Uh, then she got the ball. You go over here. And Casey Jones. Uh, you, you know, pass to Kevin. Then you go to the corner. And why would you come over? Then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? Now, after the time out, he goes, we walk back on the court. Larry's going down to his position. So he tells me, baby, is I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. Ten seconds. Five, and Bird has the basketball. Look out. Woo! Two seconds on the clock. And, you know, he was like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. I walked back to the sideline like, damn. Larry Bird just... He hit the dame time. He hit that dame time before dame time. So I'm about to get it right in your face, bro. I didn't mean to leave two seconds. See, okay, I'm, I'm about to. I'm a. I'm a fuck with. I'm a fuck with Larry Bird after this video. I can tell, man. He gonna be on some savage. Phenomenal the way that he will contribute. Bro, in so the I didn't time, leave two seconds time after. after. Come on, man. That was on Barkley. Spread the balls defensively. Let's see if they wind it all the way down. Insert, low, low. You can't double yet. Now you can quickly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He came for the double, too. MJ came for the double. Still hit the turnaround fadeaway. Me and Rage. Seconds left. Larry Bird gets the Boston Celtics a two-point lead. Fast. 
Bird down low. Gets the ball behind Michael. Give me that ball. Pippin and Jordan. If you put all of us in a room, you know, Magic, Jordan, myself, and Bird, Bird probably be the guy who walks out of the room at the end of the day. Don't let that go over your heads, though. What he's saying was, he put us all in the room. He gonna be so focused on each other, right? Larry Bird's the sleeper. Larry Bird's the sleeper. That's why, you, you know, you know, I ain't gonna say it. He's a sleeper, though. And so when everybody else is focused on trying to kill each other, he's just coming in there, cush, fade away, lay up. And he's still talking shit, too. He's still talking shit, but you don't see it as like a threat. But it is. Don't know. He'd be the one to walk out, too. Yeah. Now that's a steal by Bill Walton. Move. We're in overtime. Tied at 123. Bird rotates in. Bird pops out. Avoids the steal. Gets it over to DJ. Bird goes right into the pivot. Now DJ holds the ball. Back in the bird. The ball away is gone. Oh, Man. My God, that's, that's, oh, that mid range fadeaway is different. From Kobe Bryant. I remember we were playing uh, Washington in Washington one night, and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot. But KC called timeout. It won't count. It does not count. Washington had called a timeout. Larry came back to the bench, and you know he was a little upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, uh, "Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the same spot. And I'm going to kick it in." He told Washington, "I'm going to get the ball." Yeah. Two seconds left. The ball looks by a one. Two seconds. Aims to Bird. He gets a good shot in the Charlotte's winner. Boy, this is something. Wow. Else. Incredible. And Bird wins it at the buzzer. How many people do you know would talk to the other team like this and say, I'm going to stick it in your face? Bird, a runner. It's good. It's good. This boy got game winners. I'm something. I ain't I was in shock. in my rookie year. He so looked damn. at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. He goes, confident? You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. Keep proceeding Coming at to Clyde, score like rookie year. points on me. Coach took me out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out at Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by him, he tells me, he says, fly, bird. And, he, and I go right by him, he shoots the ball, it's nothing but nylon. Larry Bird was a pain in the neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry Bird changed that. Larry Bird. Bottles his own shot. There was a certain confidence you had, because you know if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way. And he delivered. The double team at Bird. Larry, fake, fall away. My boy, a shooter. This boy hitting game winners, fade away, double team jump shots on, on Scotty and Jordan. He hit three point out the corner off the double team. Just, you know, even like he trying. You know, like he barely even trying. That's what's getting me. That's what gets me. You know, like he barely trying, bro. He was a cold blooded killer. But when you played yeah, against somebody, yeah, sure. do you remember? Well, you had the bird night. I had the bird night. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a tough bird night, night, man. That, that, you know, the biggest argument that night is, uh, well, you only scored six on me. Yeah. You know? But did, yeah. you, nobody was guarding bird, were they? Well, we were trying. You were trying no, to. No, but when, when a guy is literally coming up to court calling his shots, uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans. And that game, we're on the free throw line. And he's like, he literally Shooter, says, bro. Um, left side <laughs> over uh, across the three, and you're listening to him. That's that's a tough feeling. But okay, so you guys got Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Fratello, I think. For <laughs> and, and Andy, yeah. <laughs> bro, imagine you playing street ball in the hood your whole life. <laughs> 
You've been playing with hood, with niggas. You've been playing with your, the brothers. Your, the, the brothers. Your whole life. You've been playing with the brothers. The, the brothers from the 80s. The 80s brothers. Early 90s brothers. And this dude. This white dude with a Karen haircut. Name Larry Bird <laughs> come out, come out his first couple of years calling shots on your ass <laughs> and hitting them and hitting them too, calling shots on your ass and hitting them too. Oh man, you know that destroys your morale. And he played for the Boston Celtics. Oh my God, you know he was just crushing souls out there. You know he was crushing. He calling shots. I didn't notice, but I did not notice about Larry Bird, bro. That's not. You can't just be calling shots unless you hitting them. He hitting them too, man. God dang. Johnson for celebrating. <laughs> celebrating Bird. Yeah, it was the best film Boy. session. Every time I see, when I see Mike, we still laugh. God, it's it was so a, good. it was the greatest film session ever because that back then you didn't have you know you watched the real game and just went you know with a video and. Mike rewound the celebration 20 times. He just kept, re not the shot, he just kept rewinding it, showing the guys, you remember, they're giving each other high five. And then, and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, too. that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter, uh, and Antoine Carr and Cliff gives each other, you remember, they're giving each other high five. And then, and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, too. that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench uh, in laughter. <laughs> uh, and He's like, this dude too Cliff cold. Gives each other high five. And our film session was 20 minutes of that. <laughs> so it, it was. It wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense no, on Bird. It was you it guys was, celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> and it, it, it was. Uh, I think Bird uh, went by the bench one time, too. He fell in a bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, <laughs> and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, off the glass into the trainer. And, uh, no yeah, and so um, it was a bad night. He was a basketball genius. <laughs> Off the glass into the train. Bro, I would be sick. I'd be so sick, bro. Like, this dude is a computer. I used to say Kevin Durant was a computer back when he was an OK series. Like, that boy is a computer. Larry Bird, a computer. How you computing the whole solution to the calculation before it's even an answer? That's crazy. He'd be a step ahead, uh, a thought ahead, uh, play the game like a chess game. I'd much rather guard Michael Jordan than Larry Bird because you have to play the game as a thinker when you're playing him. You have to get inside his mind. Larry wasn't quick, couldn't jump really high, but there was just some sleepless nights. Bird takes the box, it's gone. Clean. That boy was used All-Star game is in Dallas, the first three-point contest. And he just starts looking at guys, doesn't say a word, and, and people are getting kind of nervous. And then he finally speaks and says, I'm just, just looking to see who's going to finish second. Some pure trash wow. talking and just general bravado. And the theatrics of, of it all was made for Larry. And Larry pure. will back up his nose by boy. not only that winning the contest, pure. but blowing away the competition with a phenomenal shooting display. That boy a shooter. That check's had my name on it for a week now. And I knew I was going to win this thing. I've been practicing. My teammates said I wasn't going to win it, but I, I came back and uh, lucked out, really. At the end of one of the trips, wow. he had accomplished every goal. We hadn't lost a game on the trip. And Larry told all of us players and the media, too, we were all standing around waiting to leave. He said, tomorrow night's the last game of the trip. I'm going to play this one left-handed at least, at least through three quarters. What a performance wow. by Bird! And at the end of three quarters, the next night in Portland. Bro, this is a professional basketball player in a professional game, and he talk he he playing a real game, but he playing games. How you playing a real game playing games? You supposed to be really trying to get a W for your team. You said, you know what? Tonight I'm gonna try to play left-handed. I'm gonna play on the hand I don't play with. Just cause. Just cause we play in Portland today. 
This some this damn bro, this dude different. <laughs> this dude is different. Wow. Bro just played with the left hand. Not cause Kobe had to do that, but he was injured. He literally had like a broken right finger, a broken right thumb, so he had to go left hand. He just doing this just cause. And I'm talking about Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, bro. His poor Jerome Kersey. He had 27 points left hand. <laughs> and it was a remarkable performance. <laughs> This guy was going to do one thing almost every night that really spun your head around. Made you do like, couldn't believe this was happening. Bird to Vincent to Bird. Over the back door. Oh, don't believe it. He was playing chess and everybody else was playing checkers. He was three moves ahead of everybody else. And you never knew what he was going to do, but you knew it was going to be something special. Bird steals it. You can see it coming, and look at the pass to McHale. Isn't that beautiful? In last year's playoffs, Person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding a few choice comments of his own. Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. You can see Gilson playing a little... Bird giving it back to him. Chuck Person can talk some trash to Larry Bird. Chuck and Larry down low, greeting one another once again. Bird! Oh, he has caught fire. Oh, Bro, he looked at him. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up, I gotta check my, my camera. Make sure it ain't hot. Alright. Bro just looked at him, dog. Caught fire. Oh, 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 it had something to say afterwards. And look at... Bro said, what? He said, I don't care about your 16 points, you my son. He said, you my son, bro. I don't care. You my son. He grabbed that ball out his hands and said, you my son, bro. Stop playing with me. I'm having an off night. Stop playing. Don't make, don't turn my off night into an on night. Stop playing with me. Bird! <laughs> person didn't dare look at him. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while and we always had run-ins, but... Uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. <laughs> it looked like his luck had finally run out. He certainly doesn't have that normal bird rhythm going for him. Seconds remaining. Has only seven. Has to be 15. That's eight. Making nine. And ten. And eleven as we're counting. Thirteen. He's still got to drop one here quickly. Fourteen. This is a tie for the money. Yo! He knew exactly what the score was. It's how you finish? That, that ball was going to win the competition for him, and it's how you it's finish, like baby. He did it in dramatic fashion, just to make it more fun. He knew it when he let it go and was headed for the winner's circle. Then the game begins. Magic and Larry come out together. Two guys that had saved the league. They wouldn't even be playing this game without those two. And Magic passes the ball. Larry makes the first basket. Forward banking in goes to the fadeaway. I mean, yo, I didn't even, I done forgot about that too. I only be thinking to be the Laker. <laughs> I'm a Laker bias, bro. I'm a Laker fan. I'm a Laker bias. The ultimate enemy we have will always be the Boston Celtics. No matter what teams come around and are dope, they'll never really have the same rivalry that we'll always have with the Celtics. And that's because, not even because of Magic and, and, and Larry, it's really because of Wilt and Bill Russell. That was the where the beef started was Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell, and it just got to and it, it went to a whole nother height with Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, and then and Showtime versus the Celtic Boys and shit. But uh, yeah, let's keep it a buck though. Larry Bird on the Celtics and their rivalry with the Lakers and Magic Johnson in L.A. Save the NBA. They were about to not be a league anymore and literally save the league and now look at where it's at now. So damn. Larry Bird is that guy, bro. I always respected him. I just never really was like, let me tap in what's going on with Larry Bird. <laughs> like it was you know what I mean? 
This boy a beast. You know, it just, it just didn't get any better than that. The U.S. was off and running, and the result was a thing of beauty. Johnson leading the break. Finds oh, this is the 92 team, right? I think this is the 92 team. And no one seemed more excited to be sharing the court than the co-captains. There. Bird for three. Yes. Or is this 88? Smashing success. With the outcome never in doubt. Oh, a bullet from Magic to Portland. And late in the game, fans in Portland decided they wanted a curtain call from a three-time MVP. The crowd start cheering. Larry. Larry, Larry. Crowd reacts to the entrance of Larry Bird, a standing ovation. And as he'd done so many other times in his career, Larry Bird rose to the occasion. Jordan with the behind the back save. Here's Bird. Yes. You just knew that Larry Bird was not going to miss that shot. It was a virtually flawless performance. The final margin of victory was 77 points. Damn. A magic convert had led the way. A Larry Bird retirement ceremony. They had it on a night when there was no game. That's how special, that's how popular, that's how great Larry Bird is. They filled the Boston Garden, and you couldn't get a ticket. Magic comes out. <laughs> ah, yo! Hold up, camera check. All right, <laughs> look, bro had his retirement night on a game. There was no game. This is different. I know, like nowadays, you know, like Kobe did the whole tour. Like you knew he was gonna retire that season. He did the whole tour, played the last game at each location and shit like. That's cool, but those are all games. This dude filled out the stadium with no game, and Magic came through? And Magic came through. If Magic came through, I'm going to fuck up with Larry Bird off rip. Magic came through, I'm going fuck with Larry Bird, bro. I'm sorry, that's my guy now. That's my guy. It's still fuck Boston, but that's my guy now. And it was just great, and he had the Celtic t-shirt on underneath, and this Magic comes out, and it was just great, and he had the Celtic that's probably been the only time Magic wore some Boston Celtic stuff it was for Larry Bird's retirement. Oh my God, this shit is deep, bro. Unless you a unless you a diehard Laker or a Boston Celtic fan and you've been one for a long time, you probably don't understand the magnitude of how crazy that is. Celtic T-shirt on underneath and the speech that Magic gave. Larry That's Bird crazy. said that. There will be another Larry Bird one day. And Larry, there will never, ever, ever wow. be another Larry Bird. To have all the fans wow. come back to pay tribute and to say thank you. There was nothing like that on earth. Tonight, my basketball career is officially over. And I had a blast. So night I leave. I leave basketball forever. I leave a game that I loved. Sorry, but I'm gone. I'm history. I dedicated my life to basketball. And I dedicated my life to the Boston Celtics. So I say good night, Boston. And may God bless each and every one of you. Good night. 33. Damn, bro. Hey, bro. I still got to watch some old school highlights and some games, bro. But this video alone damn near might have put Larry Bird in my top 10, bro. But I can't say that until I got to watch some more games or something. But he might be in my top 10, bro. Because I ain't never heard some of the shit I just heard. <laughs> ever, 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 and I've seen some games like with him and Showtime and stuff. But like I just, I just see some like just his highlights. You know what I'm saying? But damn, 
Much respect to the Larry Bird, you feel me? For all my Boston fans, Celtics fans who's watching, you feel me? You understand I'm a Laker fan. So you got to understand how hard it is to give these props right now. But I'm going to do it, man. Because I see the work and I respect the work. You can't deny greatness. Man, that's it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I talked a whole shit ton. I'm sorry. It is what it is, man. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know more videos to react to in the comments. I'm down to do some more NBA players, man. Some classic joints or something. Uh, yeah, that's it, man. I love y'all. Keep it real. Real is rare. Real always. Which is everyone. Until next time. Peace.